Uh, thank you very much, Donna, for a very gracious uh, introduction. I, I do have a very interesting uh, job, a job which in many ways has represented a, a change of directions for me, but has uh, me thinking uh, about a variety of uh, kinds of science uh, that I think are very important to place in a public health context. So I'm very glad to, to have all of you activated to think about them. I'd like to let you hear something about how we're thinking about them at the NIH. Uh, and, th and then I think we'll have uh, 15 minutes or so for uh, discussion and, uh, and your input. Uh, the National Center for Complementary and Alternative Medicine was created uh, a little more than 10 years ago because of substantial uh, recognition by some of the leading champions for biomedical research in the NIH that there were some quirky ideas that were outside the mainstream, but that, that nonetheless uh, should be looked at. Uh, the language that created us uh, was specified lots of things about how, what we should do. Um, it uh, specified that we should have an outreach program. It specified the composition of our advisory council. Interestingly enough, the one thing it didn't do is define complementary and alternative medicine. A and so that is, in fact, uh, one of our ongoing challenges. Uh, and there is not, in fact, a clear definition because many ideas uh, come from uh, native healing practices or non-mainstream sources and gradually move into the mainstream. Many health practices are uh, outside the mainstream in some countries, in some cultures, and part of the mainstream in others. And in fact, the, the uh, very rich uh, traditional uh, health practices, such as traditional Chinese medicine and Ayurvedic medicine, were f for many, many centuries the dominant health practice in, in their cultures. So there isn't an easy way uh, to draw this line. But it's an, a very uh, interesting process to think about, uh, and one that I think deserves kind of this big picture uh, perspective. Um, so just a little bit about us. Uh, NIH budget at, at the year we made this slide was 29 billion. It's now going, I guess, to about 31 billion. Uh, NCAM's budget uh, last year uh, was 128 million. Um, and so you, you can see we are, in fact, a tiny sliver of the overall NIH budget. Nonetheless, this is a lot of money. And uh, in fact, it is the largest investment by any uh, uh, industrial country in this kind of, of research. So, so we take very seriously the challenge of trying to make sure this money is, is well spent. And we think it is. It's very hard to get grants from us. We have the lowest success rate of the NIH. So it, it's an extremely competitive process. All the grants we, we fund uh, are uh, vigorously peer-reviewed, either in a Center for Scientific Review study section or one of our own. But um, in spite of the fact that it's uh, tough to get grants from us, uh, we still get our share of criticism. 